dear students in the previous class we have discussed some necessary and sufficient conditions for hamiltonian graphs because there is no a general characterization for a hamiltonian graph so far so but there are certainly some necessary and sufficient conditions for hamiltonian graphs that we have discussed in the previous class now in the session 13 So we are going to discuss one important application of these graphs. What we have discussed so far: Eilerian graphs, Hamiltonian graphs. Now we will see the application part of those graphs. So the first one we are going to consider: traveling salesman problem. So traveling salesman. You know already a salesman uh, wants to sell his uh, goods, or you can say the items, or you can say the product. Okay. So and he wants to travel. to sell his products so therefore he faces a problem because he wants to start his journey from his house so he has to visit some villages or cities and he has to come back to the same place where he has started his journey isn't it so he has a problem that problem is how to minimize the length in terms of distance so that he wants to travel all the cities with a minimum length isn't it so what is that that we are going to discuss in detail okay so that is the traveling salesman problem so before uh, going for the traveling salesman problem let me first define a weighted graph what is the weighted graph a graph is called a weighted graph if every edge of that graph assigns with a real number so graph means you have got vertices and edges here every edge is given a real number say for example one edge uh, maybe 15 km another edge 10 km in terms of kilometers like that every edge is labeled with a real number maybe in terms of kilometer or feet or you can say uh, meter uh, according to your choice okay so therefore Uh, every edge is given a real number in this case okay so if you assign a real number to every edge so that graph is called a weighted graph weighted graph okay so like we have got the label graph uh, labeling the vertices and edges here assigning a real number a real number to every edge that graph will be a weighted graph okay now the traveling salesman problem suppose that a salesman is required to make a round trip through a given collection of p cities when p is greater than or equal to 3 okay what route should he take to minimize the total distance traveled so this question is the traveling salesman problem okay as i said in brief uh, before this suppose that a salesman is required to make a round trip through a given collection of p cities when p is greater than or equal to 3 what route should he take to minimize the total distance traveled so this question is the traveling salesman problem now if we consider the graphical representation of the traveling salesman problem what to we will do here so how to convert his problem in terms of a graphical notation a graph okay so the graphical presentation of the traveling salesman problem is given in this way let g be a connected weighted graph so what do you mean by weighted graph every edge is labeled or sorry every edge is assigned a real number in terms of a kilometer some distance in terms of kilometer or feet whatever may be the unit okay whose vertices vi where one is less than or equal to i is less than or equal to p represent the cities to be visited that is every city is given uh, every city is given a name okay so v1 represents the city of one uh, name of one city v2 represents the city uh, name of the another city like that all vertices are uh, assigned the names of the cities uh, to be visited and let the weight wij of the edge vij vij means joining the vertex vi and vj there is an edge so that uh, uh, edge is given a weight so that weight will be wij 
okay be the distance to be traveled directly between vi and vj the traveling salesman problem is equivalent to finding a hamiltonian cycle of minimum weight in a connected weighted graph g so that is you need to find a cycle containing all vertices because he has to start his journey from his village he has to visit the other cities and come back to the same village where he where he has started his journey it implies there must be a hamiltonian cycle containing all vertices or you can say all cities but there may be different hamiltonian cycles but what we need to find out we need to find out a hamiltonian cycle of minimum weight in a connected uh, in a connected weighted graph g such a hamiltonian cycle is called a minimum hamiltonian cycle of g so what do you mean by minimum hamiltonian cycle of g a hamiltonian cycle with minimum weight amongst all the hamiltonian cycles is called minimum hamiltonian cycle of g that is in a graph if you could find out the minimum hamiltonian cycle of g that will be the solution of the traveling salesman problem so here okay so i think you have understood the traveling salesman problem what is how what is the solution for the traveling salesman problem he has to find out a route means he wants to find out a cycle containing all vertices means all cities where he want to visit and uh, he has to come back to the same village or city where he has started his journey okay it implies there must be a hamiltonian cycle okay but there are different hamiltonian cycles out of those which hamiltonian cycle has got minimum weight so that will be the solution for the traveling salesman problem for example here i have considered one example find a minimum hamiltonian cycle of the following graph so it is k5 actually it is k5 see i have labeled the vertices the vertices are labeled okay here a b c d e okay and uh, a if you start at a you have to come back to a okay by visiting all the other vertices b c d and e okay so if you consider this graph how many hamiltonian cycles are there first we have to find out those okay here this is one hamiltonian cycle with uh, red edges i have distinguished the edges by red color it implies you can start at uh, one vertex at a uh, and you can reach uh, the vertex b next you can reach the vertex c then d then e and you can come back to a so this is one possibility so this is one hamiltonian cycle the other possibility is with the black edges edges are label are colored with black color so see a to c we can reach first then c to e then e to b then b to d then d to a this is another possibility so there are two cycles so in the graph g we have got two edge disjoint hamiltonian cycles c1 c2 so first we have to find out the weights of c1 and c2 okay so we are trying to find out the weights of these two hamiltonian cycles so the weight of the cycle c1 which we have considered with the red lines okay so here it is 5 next we are reaching like this 2 next we are reaching to the other vertex d and the weight is 2 again again it will be 5 then it will be 4 okay if you add you are getting 8 so the weight of this cycle is 18 with the red lines okay if you travel in this way another cycle if you travel in this way here first it is 5 then it is 3 then it is 2 then it will be 3 then plus you have to 8 add if you add these uh, numbers you are getting 21 so out of these two hamiltonian cycles 
the C1 has got less weight compared to C2. So therefore, C1 is the Hamiltonian cycle with minimum weight. It implies a traveling salesman, salesman if he starts his journey from A, he can take two routes, but with the minimum route, he wants to travel to save his time, to save his energy. Uh, okay, with the minimum distance, he, if he wants to travel, the best way to travel out of these two is, he can travel from A to B, then B to C, then C to D, D to E and E to A because this is the shortest length okay compared to the other cycle okay so this will be the solution for the traveling salesman so that we have uh, understood by considering one example okay so this is how in this session we have discussed what is the weighted graph then the what is the traveling salesman problem and how to uh, construct the geometrical sorry graphical representation of the traveling salesman problem then we took one example uh, to apply uh, or to get a solution of the uh, traveling salesman okay so this is how we have discussed these ideas in this session so with this we conclude today's session or lecture we will see in the next session thank you